decades, we recognize their faces, they become in a perverse way, Jack mentions the media in a perverse way, become almost media stars. What's going on inside their twisted psyche, uh, these people who kill and kill again? Take a look. Why do people murder? Why did those girls murder for you? Why did Texas... They didn't murder for me. You told them... No, 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 no. Come back, GA. Come back. That's not reality. What is? No, reality is they did what they did. They're responsible for their own actions. I'm responsible for my actions. Did you tell those women to kill somebody? No. Charles Manson has been behind bars for more than a quarter century for his orchestration of the 1969 Tate LaBianca murders. But Americans continue to find him both fascinating and repulsive. Earlier this year, he was denied parole for a ninth time. And just this week, he was found guilty of drug trafficking from his California prison cell. Another California killer, Richard Ramirez, often seemed to emulate Manson's irrational rantings and frequent threats. The so-called Night Stalker was convicted of 13 cult-like murders. I don't even know why I'm wasting my breath, but what the hell? You men is making me sick. You don't understand me. You are not expected to. You are not capable of it. I am beyond your experience. I am beyond good and evil. Ramirez may be right. We mere maggots, to use his filthy word, may not be capable of understanding the evil impulses that lead to the bizarre cannibalistic murders like those carried out by Jeffrey Dahmer or the son of Sam the shootings by David Berkowitz, which terrorized New Yorkers for months. And then there are all these serial killers who seem almost, well, almost rational, like the convicted hitchhiking yeah. prostitute, Eileen Warnos. How do you like so the much. label of uh, America's first female serial killer? I'm pissed, because it's not true. But you did kill seven men. It's a series of men killed, but it wasn't serial killing style. I killed them, I didn't murder them. Explain the difference. Okay, murder is first degree murder in intent, and killing is something you have to do in defense. So are you saying that all seven of those homicides were justifiable? In my belief, yes. There have been so many more of these nuts over the years. Remember John Wayne Gacy convicted of 33 killings, Henry Lee Lucas, Edmund Kemper, Albert DeSalvo, Wayne Williams, Christopher Wilder, Kenneth Bianchi, Otis Toole, Ted Bundy, and Joe Callinger. I have my own memories of Callinger and his chillingly calm manner when discussing his outrageous crimes. I'm a patient person, got a good listening ear, and try to help people. You're patient, with a good ear, and you try to help people? Yes. When you're not trying to murder them? Yes. When Joe Callinger's reign of terror ended, three were dead including his own 14-year-old son. You murdered your own son? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? He was a sacrifice. I was to murder three million people on planet Earth. And he was a sacrifice to see if I could murder one of my own. At the end of murdering all the people on Earth, I was going to murder my own family and then take my own life and become God. Oh, brother. Is any... <laughs> If there's anyone who can explain the inner workings of uh, that kind of mind, my next guest can. Robert Ressler is the man who actually coined the phrase serial killer. For 16 years, he was the profiler for the FBI's behavioral science unit. He was the first manager.